I've always tried to push the envelope. I always want to challenge myself to take the next step. I enjoy competing, not with others, but with my own limits. That's been true in every facet. applied it to my writing, I may have bitten off more than I can chew. The story actually starts with this guy. This is Harlan Ellison, famed writer of the golden age of science fiction. In addition to being notoriously irascible, Ellison was famous for one of his marketing ploys. He would take story suggestions from his fans, select one at random, and then write a short story on that topic while sitting in a bookstore window. This was before the time of computers, so he was using a typewriter. And every page that came off that typewriter was immediately hung up in the bookstore window for passersby to see. And so, being filled with hubris, uh, and not a little naivete, I heard this story of, of how one of the gods of science fiction had marketed his work and said immediately, I bet I could do that. My name is Frog Jones, and I am an idiot. Good morning. Um, Saturday morning, I'm not live streaming this. I won't be live streaming uh, really any of these events. I'll put this video up as kind of an explanation and then you're not gonna hear from me for most of the day because we don't have Wi-Fi out at the market in Belfair that we're going to. Um, but today I'm, I'm, I'm going into battle. Um, and it's, it's going to be an interesting one because what I'm doing, and I've posted weird videos about this, but like in actuality, I am I am nervous about this. Um, I am going to be writing a story today, and I'm going to be doing it with a prompt that was randomly selected. All y'all submitted. We got a bunch of different submissions. Esther's going to be putting them in a hat. I haven't seen them, um, and we're like. I'm going to write a story with that submission as my first sentence. So I have no idea what the first sentence is going to be. And someone else has already written it for me. Um, and written it for me with malice aforethought to make the story as difficult for me to write as possible. So that's challenge one. But challenge two is that I'm going to be doing it on a typewriter. And for those of you who think, oh, that's not that different from a computer, you don't understand typewriters. Okay. They are manual in that their keys can bind up. It takes longer to press the keystroke. There's no delete key. There's no copy and paste. I, as soon as I press a key, that is permanently what is on the paper. Um, and so all my little typos all my little foibles, all everything I do wrong is going to be like etched permanently onto this paper and we're going to be hanging it up on a wall as I type in public. Um, and so I am super nervous about this. I've been doing a little practice with the typewriter. Um, I've gotten a little bit better with it uh, than I was when we first got the thing. Uh, the first couple of pages I wrote on it were just incomprehensible. Um, but I gotta tell you, like, I've been pitching this as, you know, it's the extreme author challenge. Um, and that's kind of all in good fun, except that it's not. Like, it, it feels like I'm about to go do something that is, you know, truly hardcore. Uh, so, I, I don't know, man. Uh, stick with me. Um, here we are. Uh, we're at the White Horn in Belfair. It's got a lovely market. I'm going to go ahead and... Hi, Esther. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, like, 
show you this. There's the whole market here, just kind of an outdoor, cool, gardeny kind of marketplace. Um, really, really nice place. We're going to be outdoors. It's a beautiful day. Um, and we're going to be out in this little stall selling some books. Uh, right next door to us, we have someone who's actually selling custom tea, um, which, as she pointed out, is an incredible combination of, um, you know, you get the, the Tahuya tea over here, and then you get the, the book here. Mm. Synergy. Synergy's great. Um, but of course, we all know that that's not what I'm going to be focused on. I'm going to be focused on this beast. This is my epic royal typewriter. And uh, it is... It's going to be my opponent for the, for the next foreseeable future. Haven't drawn the sentence yet. Uh, we're waiting on that. Uh, the market isn't quite open, and so we're going to wait until it gets to the actual status of being open before we do that. Uh, and we'll get it drawn, and then I will start typing a story on a typewriter. So we'll see how it goes. I'm nervous. I'm excited. It's a beautiful day. Like, you couldn't ask. There's birds chirping. Um, you couldn't ask for a better place to do this in. Uh, White Barn in, in Belfair is, it's just gorgeous here. Um, and so, you know, if you're going to be writing, writing in a gorgeous natural environment, like, there's worse places to do this. Uh, but we're still going to see if I can, I can pull off the XAC. Uh, for now, I'm going to sign off, be very hopeful, and uh, wish me luck. Esther is mixing up. We've got my bowler here. And there are a number of different sentences in there. Esther is going to be pulling one out, and it is going to be my first sentence. Um, what, is, what has she drawn? What, what fresh hell am I in for? Let's find out here. You can find out with me. Um, to die and the police are called is never a good thing. But when the Darwin Awards... <laughs> what? <laughs> when the Darwin Awards got there, it got interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's your thing. Okay. I guess that's where I'm starting. Um... Man, a lot of a lot of prepositional phrases in that bad boy. Uh, here we go. Um, the typewriter awaits. I'm a little over two pages in. I'll take you out here and show you. Here's our booth. Schwa. Um, and here is where we are posting the story. So I've got one, two pages up. Um, I've started on my third. It's, it's a really interesting experience doing it this way. <laughs> like, it's... It's bizarre, and I'll, I'll go into more depth than that, um, probably in a blog post at some point. But suffice to say that the story is actually shaping up like a lot better than I thought it would, um, and I'm, I'm really kind of excited about what it is. Uh, I've got a main character that's, you know, developing and having multiple layers now, and kind of working with him, and I've got kind of an emotional arc figured out to it. Um, 
I did not have an arc figured out on the first page. The first page was just scene setting. <laughs> and now that I'm kind of into it, I kind of know where I'm headed. Um, and it's been, I usually outline, I usually plan, and I've been completely dancing this, and it's been just a completely different experience for me. Um, but uh, I'm here, I'm still working. Um, and I, yeah, I never thought this would be like this, but, but it is, and it's, it's kind of amazing. Um, also, my fingers hurt. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a, man, that typewriter, it gets to you. Uh, gotta, gotta work out the hands a little bit more, I think. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of amazing. Um, anyways, I'll check in with you guys a bit later. So everybody, I just wanted to provide a little photo evidence that Frog is not only, not only still working, he is, wah, what, I have to back up, make sure I don't back up into anybody, that far, that far into the story. And we are at a little bit before 2.30, so he's got another hour and a half to uh, do another two pages. I think he can do it. I think he's on track. Stay tuned. just handed Esther the, the last page for the XAC for today. She's holding it in her hands. Uh, it came up to six and a half pages. Uh, the end at the end. I, I put the end at the end. It seems like the old school yeah. thing to do when you're with a typewriter. Right. Like, no, you got it. It's in all tabs and everything. Yeah. It's the, that's, the, that's the way you do it when you're on a typewriter. So, um, I'm hurting. My hands are hurting. My back is hurting. <laughs> all the things are hurting. Um, but it was really like, I'll show you the stack over there. Um, it's all posted for the public as there's about to hang the, the last page here. Uh, and I'm really quite proud of, of how it went down. Uh, I didn't expect it to be like this. I didn't expect the experience to be what it was. Um, I'm gonna break that down kind of in more depth when I'm not sitting here in pain. Uh, but uh, I'd like to thank everyone who submitted their, their first, first line ideas, uh, everyone who got kind of invested in the process, um, and, you know, I'm putting the link in the description. And heads up, we're not getting rid of anybody's sentences that no. submitted one. No, 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 no. If you've submitted a sentence, that sentence is still in the hat. The only sentence that has left the hat is the one whose story I just wrote. Uh, we will next be doing this at BritCon. Uh, I will be in the lobby of BritCon, and I will be doing an XAC there. Um, so I'll have the typewriter out, I will draw another sentence, and we will go from there. So if you want to contribute a sentence to that story, link in the description. 
I think it's going to be down there. It might be up there. I don't know. Depends on which service I'm posting the video on. But, <laughs> um, yeah, go to the XAC page, submit your, your first lines, and you may end up having me write a story. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to let this hang here until we're done with it for the day, and then uh, we're going to scan it, and it will be something that our Patreon subscribers can read. So, uh, if you're interested, here's another link. There's a link in our description. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll link you to our Patreon, and anyone who's subscribing to our Patreon, in addition to getting advanced episodes of Soul of the Shield Maiden, our web serial that's not out yet, uh, but is forthcoming, but is forthcoming, uh, and I think we should just post it on the Patreon, like, now, post the first aid on the Patreon. Oh, yeah, now. we absolutely should. The first aid already. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get the first aid on the Patreon. We don't have the cover image done yeah, yet. Yeah, the so cover image is almost, almost done, so you're seeing it pre cover That's actually... But we will, we will actually put... We can actually put the original sketches and the concept art for the cover on the mm. Patreon. I'm going to have to look at our contract. All right, right, right. We yeah, might yeah. Not have we'll try it. We'll look at it. Anyway, but, but, yeah, we'll get the first eight episodes of Shoulder Shield nailed up, and you'll be able to check out uh, XAC content all on the Impulsive Wal Walrus Patreon. Um, so, yeah, go to the link, check it out, and uh, we'll be back at you the next time we do something really crazy like this. <laughs> For now, I'm going to go take some ibuprofen. Bye-bye! <laughs>
The second thing is that the experience of writing on a typewriter, the experience of knowing that you can't go back, um, or that if you do, it's gonna look sloppy and so you don't want to, uh, it slows you down. And it makes you think about what you're doing. Um, you know, normally I could turn out, this is seven and a half pages single spaced. So you figure it's about a 14 page double space. It's a, probably around a 4,000 word story. Obviously my typewriter doesn't have word counter on it, uh, but I would guess it's, it's somewhere around 4K. Um, and normally I could bang out a 4K story if I'm, if I'm on my tablet, right? My, my weapon of choice when it comes to writing. Uh, I could bang out a 4K story in three or four hours, right? I could do it. Now, I would be thinking about it first, right? I wouldn't be doing it from a cold start, um, but the actual, like, physical writing process of it, three or four hours, I could do a 4K story. Uh, the, the zero draft of a 4K story. It would have to go through a whole editing process before I submitted it, of course. Doing it on the typewriter, uh, I started at 10 a.m. I got done at around... 3.30 p.m. And so it took me five and a half hours. It took me longer to do it on the typewriter um, because you have to go slow. One, because if you go too fast, the keys jam up, right? One hammer hits another hammer and they get stuck and it screws you all up. Uh, but the second reason is that, uh, you know, you don't want to make mistakes when you're typing. And I did. And, you know, for those of you who are on the Patreon, you're going to see them. Um, but you try and avoid them as much as you can. And so there's this idea that you want to kind of avoid the mistakes. And so you're very careful when you're typing, as opposed to if I'm on a tablet, man, I'm just going to blast stuff out there. And then if I see something wrong, I can go back, click, 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 fix it. Um, no, doing that on a typewriter. Oh my God. And so it focuses you, um, and it kind of focuses you in the now. Uh, it was a much more pantsed story. I had no idea where I was going with it when I started it. Um, you know, the first page is, is me getting to know the character uh, and getting to know, like, what's up with Eli? Like, why is he the way he is and why is he what he is? Um, why is he dead? Uh, thanks for the, the author of our first sentence for that one. Because uh, my main character had to be dead. Uh, <laughs> So that's, <laughs> that was the twist. I knew they were going to write it with malice aforethought. I knew it. Um, but anyways, that's, that's how that went. Um, so it was a really unique experience. It was a really tough experience. But what I wasn't expecting is I think it sharpened me. I think it made me a better writer. Um, because I think that the amount of thought I had to put into the words before I typed them uh, was really useful. I think the story I produced is actually really good. Like if I were to, if I were to go through and clean up the grammatical errors and do a couple little editing tweaks to it, uh, it would be a submittable story. I could, I could probably get that one published somewhere. Um, and I wasn't sure that was going to be the case. I, I had no idea whether this was going to work at all. And I'm really proud that it did. So anyways, um, that's my kind of seven minute rant on what it was like to do the Extreme Author Challenge. And I am looking forward to doing it again. Uh, I think you're gonna be doing it at BritCon. Um, and so if y'all are coming to BritCon, you know, swing by. Uh, I'll be in the lobby, wanging away on my typewriter. And, uh, you know, every page that comes off the typewriter just gets posted and hung up. Um, and I think the idea at BritCon, and Esther, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, um, but the idea at BritCon is that we're going to uh, auction off the, the manuscript itself, yeah? Uh, we still need to talk to Shannon about that, but she's open to it. Not quite sure exactly. Okay. Um, well, if nothing else, we'll post a silent auction sheet and people can bid on it. Uh, <laughs> right? There's no reason we can't auction it. But So the manuscript itself will be up for bids. Um, in the meantime, uh, if you want to read uh, the story I wrote uh, today... Uh, if you want to check that out, if you want to see, you know, what liaison spirits are and why they're important and how they function uh, and how they deal with trauma. Uh, <laughs> it, was, I, it got weird today. It got weird, but it was, it's fun. 
Um, you know, you can uh, uh, go to our Patreon uh, and uh, we will we will uh, we will have that scanned. We're going to take the original typewritten pages and scan them into a PDF. Uh, I'm never going to type this up. I'm never going to submit it anywhere else. Um, I might, if I do enough of these, eventually like compile them into an anthology. At which point, I will have to, um, you know, retype them. <laughs> See if I can get a program that can uh, scan and and turn the the words into text, and then go and edit those words. Uh, but uh, for now, it's just going to be scanned PDFs, and they will be up on our Patreon. Um, they'll be up on our Patreon alongside Soul of the Shield Moon. So uh, come check us out, and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for being big supporters of us, and thanks to everyone who submitted a sentence. If you want to submit, submit another one? ImpulsiveWarrisBooks.com slash XAC. Uh, see you next time.